Most of the time we think of Lent as fasting and almsgiving and sacrifice and gloom and misery. And that can start to make us think differently about the Lenten season. But what if I told you that the Lenten season is actually a time that we're supposed to be joyful? Maybe not joyful for the things of this world, but joyful for the things of eternal life. Getting our soul ready for eternity should be a joyful thing, an intentional resolution to move forward in our progress as Christians and to draw closer to the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe it's not the joy of a birthday celebration or winning the lottery, but a joy that says that you're moving closer to our Lord, moving toward a greater love that should be a lasting love in our hearts. The exercises of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving are the workout that our soul needs to get in shape, to be ready for that celebration at Easter. Discomfort comes with exercises, and even this happens in the spiritual life. Joy follows, though. We know that joy follows and that's what we should be looking forward to. Discomfort should actually make us mindful of what we are preparing ourselves for. It's necessary. It's something that actually is a gift that our Lord is inviting us to. Discomfort should make us think of things that are beyond this life. If it makes you miserable and those around you, well, then maybe there's something else that we need to be thinking about offering up. Eat something. Get back on the right track and make a new sacrifice, a new resolution to the Lord that is going to help you on the way. Then refocus. Figure out what is the goal that my Lord Jesus Christ is inviting me to offer up this year. So before offering some amazing practical ideas that you might like to take on, let's see some good criteria for making our resolutions this year. I have three of them for you. The first one is, will this bring me closer to God? The second one, will the discomfort that it causes bring me joy if I actually persevere and fulfill it? And the third one, will this resolution be possible in the current circumstances that I am living? It's good to be realistic during the Lenten season. It's easy to start something new and then give up part way. Let's start off by making sure that it's going to be a realistic, realistic resolution that we can fulfill throughout the Lenten season. And remember, just like Jesus fell a number of times on the way to Calvary, if we fall during the Lenten season, the important part is that we get up again and keep going. And one more thought before we jump into some practical ideas that may help you and your family. The question always comes up every year. Are Sundays little Easter's or not? Is it a break from my resolutions Maybe your kids are asking you that question, or maybe you don't know the answer and just wonder about what it means. Well, I have some answers for you. Even though that Jesus didn't come in from the desert on Sundays, he spent those 40 days out there, Sundays weren't Sundays yet when Jesus was still on earth. And I was reading this in a book that I'll include in the resources in the description, but we should be celebrating Sundays as a little Easter, a little resurrection of the Lord, a day to be celebrated. And so it is a day that we can give up or we can stop living those resolutions for a moment on the condition that it's not, I was giving up a bad habit and now I'm going back to it, or it's something that you're trying to break an addiction and that wouldn't be good to go back on that one. So look at your resolutions and see if it's helping you. Again, draw closer to the Lord if that discomfort is going to bring you an eternal joy in the end and making sure that it's possible in the current circumstances in which you're living. So now I have some ideas for you. The first two are resources that I've used in the past and have been very helpful. One is the Magnificat Lenten Reflections. Again, I'll include it in the resources in the description and it has a reflection on each day of the Lenten season. As well, there is the Best Lent Ever by Matthew Kelly and his team at Dynamic Catholic. You get an email in your inbox, a little video to watch, and a little challenge, a reflection and a challenge for the day. It takes just a few minutes, but it can take your Lent to the next level. Now here's some practical ideas that you might want to discuss as a family and decide to take on something. Count to 40 before eating your dinner together. 
Now, this is something I read again in one of the books that I'll include in the resources, but it helps to have that anticipation and sacrifice right before digging into your meal. Everybody's hungry right before dinner. After you say the blessing, you count to 40, and you remember those 40 days that Jesus was in the desert in anticipation of the Easter celebration. It might be a good way for your family both to think about the Lenten season and if you have younger kids, to practice your counting. Another idea is to only watch news once a week, knowing that, well, not that much changes each week, and maybe this is something we need to kind of carve out of our lives. Another idea is to commit to dinner as a family and avoid le electronics or make sure there's no electronics so that you can have good conversations together, kind of following the ideas that I was giving in last week's uh, TED Talk. Then if your family usually watches TV in the evenings, maybe the idea of taking that hour of watching TV and turning it into a, a board games time where you have to interact with each other and you have to compete a little bit and have good conversations might be a great option for you during the Lenten season. Maybe once a week would be a great way to do it. Another idea is to pray a decade of the rosary together. This is something that my family did as I was growing up and even though it was a struggle for all of us as kids to do it, I look back on it with fondness now knowing that we are connecting ourselves as a family and growing together and praying for our unity as we move forward. Another idea is to get up immediately when your alarm goes off. Now this is a challenge for all of us, I think, at different moments in our life and different moments during the year, but how much it builds that interior discipline, that willpower that we need in order to be the best version of ourselves. So I invite you to, to take some of these ideas into your own family life and maybe make them great resolutions for this Lenten season that is upon us. Now I hope some of these are helpful and I invite you to reflect on them, take them to your family and see if something sticks that is going to make your family more ready for the Easter celebrations when we arrive. And as I mentioned already a couple times, I will include some resources in the description below and hopefully you can look into those little details that can make this Lent the best Lent ever. God bless you and have a wonderful week.